In this video we're going to review how to install the Sure MDM Nix agent on your Windows mobile device. So in order to get started uh, you'll need to have the new account information that you received from tech support at 42gears.com as this contains the link that you'll need as well as your customer ID which you'll need to enter into the system. So in order to get started I am going to open up an internet browser and I'm going to type in the following URL. Your URL will be exactly the same as this. So first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask us uh, what version application we would like to get. In this case uh, I want the Windows mobile version and I'm going to enter in the customer ID that I received from the new account uh, email that I had gotten. So after I enter that information it's going to ask me uh, would I like to download this and where I'd like to put it and I'll just go ahead and click on yes. After I do so, it's going to automatically start installing, and it's going to ask me where I'd like to install it. In this case, I will just go ahead and say uh, directly on the device, and I'll click on the Install button. Excellent. So now that the Nix agent has successfully been installed on my device, what I'm going to do is I'm going to there we go. You'll see it start running. Perfect. So I can go ahead and close this and close that. And now the Nix agent will be running on your device. And if you went to your program files, you would see the Nix agent right here. And you'll see the green orb, and you'll see that it started, which means that we are good to go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the Sure MDM back office, and we're going to go ahead and log in. So once I log in, uh, the system will prompt you and say that you have a device waiting for approval. And I'm going to go ahead and click on yes on that. And what this means is that we have that Windows mobile device with the Nix agent running. And we need to approve it in order for it to be uh, available for us to remotely manage. So what I will do is I'll just go ahead and, and select the device and I'll click on approve. And you'll see that it is now over here on the home node and we can start remote managing this particular device.